Hey everyone, welcome back to Pixel Developer. In this video, we're going to implement the new Android Photo Picker using Jetpack Compose. This is a modern and privacy-first way to let users pick images and videos from their device. So let's understand why this matters, and then build it step by step. The Photo Picker is a new Android component introduced to help apps request limited user-approved access to media files. It shows the user's media library in a nice UI. It sorts content by newest to oldest. It avoids needing red external storage. And most importantly, it gives users control. They can select exactly what they want to share with your app. This aligns perfectly with Android's privacy best practices. Hey, before we dive into today's video, I have something super exciting to share with you. In the coming days, I'll be launching a brand new app called JetShop, a fully functional e-commerce app built completely with Jetpack Compose. It's packed with all the latest tech, MVVM, Kotlin Flow, Hilt, Room Database, Firebase notifications, and so much more. Trust me, you won't want to miss this one. Now, there won't be a tutorial series for it, but I'll be dropping the full demo and complete source code on GitHub very soon. So please make sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Once we hit our milestone, I'll release all the video source code too. And hey, don't forget to follow me on GitHub to grab the source code as soon as it's out. All right, now let's jump into today's video. Let's start the setup. Let's jump into Android Studio and get started. We've already created a simple screen called Photo Picker Screen. It looks like this. We've already developed the basic UI using Jetpack Compose, featuring a top app bar and three buttons. One for picking images, one for videos, and one for picking both. The layout uses a scaffold with spacing and padding for a clean, simple design. We have three buttons, one for picking images, one for videos, and one for both. Now let's add logic to launch the system. Photo Picker. To launch the system picker and get media files back, we use Remember Launcher for activity Resu Latint. Here's the code. This will open the Photo Picker and return a list of selected URIs. We can then preview them, upload them, or store them. In the next section, we'll connect this launcher with the buttons and let users pick only images, only videos, or both. Then we'll preview the selected content in the UI. You can modify pick visual media request if you want. Only images, pick visual media. Image only only videos. Pick visual media, video only images, plus videos, pick visual media, image and video, for the pick both images plus videos button, we added logic to check the Android version. If the device is running Android 14, upside down cake, or higher, we launch the picker to allow both images and videos. Otherwise, we fall back to picking only images, since older versions don't support combined selection.
We're using a view model to manage the selected media files. The selected URIS list holds the image slash video URIs the user picks. This helps us keep the data even when the screen recomposes or the device rotates. It also gives us methods like update selected URIs and clear photo picker to manage and reset the selection easily. We're using Hilt View Model, a Centaur, to inject the Photo Picker View Model since Hilt handles our dependency injection. The Photo Picker Launcher handles the media picking result and updates the View Model with the selected URIs. This block checks if any media is selected and if so, displays them in a lazy vertical grid with two columns. Each item in viewmodel.selectedURIS is rendered using its URI. We use the getMediaTypeE function to determine whether the selected URI is an image or a video. We've already created this helper to differentiate the media type for proper preview handling. We use a reusable item modifier to style each media item with a fixed aspect ratio, rounded corners, and background color. If the media is an image, we load it directly using async image with cropping. If it's a video, we build a custom image loader with video frame decoder to extract and display a thumbnail. We also overlay a semi-transparent layer and a play icon to visually indicate that the item is a video. We're using Coil for loading images and Video Frame Decoder from Coil Video to load video thumbnails. Don't forget to add both dependencies in your Build Gradle file for proper media rendering. Now let's pass the selected URIs to the required places in the UI. Once done, our photo picker will work as expected, displaying selected images and video thumbnails.
As you can see in our app, clicking on any of the buttons, pick multiple images, pick multiple videos, or pick both images plus videos, launches the appropriate media picker. The system photo picker allows users to select media based on the type defined in the launcher. Once media is selected, it's passed to the view model, which updates the list of selected URIs. These URIs are then rendered in the UI as a grid, showing image previews or video thumbnails accordingly. All right, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you found it helpful. The complete source code is available on GitHub. You can find the link in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and comment your thoughts or any questions you have. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. And hey, follow us on Instagram for more updates, behind the scenes content, and coding tips. Thanks for watching. Keep coding, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding.